Hi, I am Dr. Venkatesh, I am a consultant neurologist. Today I am demonstrating echo evidences of transposition of red vessels. Uh, recently we had a neonate uh, uh, was born with the antenatal diagnosis of transposition of red vessels. This baby was born with good upguard but required subsequently resuscitation and then we were shifted to an NCO on uh, CPAP. And on CPAP, baby continued to desaturate. And this baby was also started on uh, IV prostaglandin in the labor room. And uh, despite on high dose of uh, uh, prostaglandin, baby was not saturating well. And uh, the saturation used to be uh, between 40 and uh, 50. Uh, despite on very high uh, uh, dose of um, prostaglandin and also in the high water and also in high ventilatory settings. So immediately the um, echo was performed and meanwhile the chest X also was performed. On echo, um, we did the um, parastonal long axis. That's is here, the probe is placed in the second intercostal space on the left side of the chest with the marker facing to the right shoulder joint. And as you see, uh, we can demonstrate on the screen also here. And this is the image, 2D image, moving image on parasternal long axis. You see the left atrium here opening to the left ventricle and what you see the opening is the mitral valve. This left ventricle is opening to the pulmonary artery and you see usually on left ventricle the aorta should go straight and up. But here you see it is going downwards and also this vessel is branching. We all know that aorta does not branch, only the pulmonary artery branches. You see the main pulmonary artery, you can see the pulmonary valve there and you see here right pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery. The superficial part is what is called is the right ventricle and the same color Doppler you see the left atrium, left ventricle open to the pulmonary artery you can see two branches of right pulmonary artery left pulmonary artery and the ductus arteriosus and of course this is the right ventricle so again uh, the uh, if you look this is the parastonal long axis i was talking to you just a little bit modification of parastonal long axis you can appreciate the images on the echo here right parastonal long axis where you can see the image, moving image. This is your left ventricle, this is your right ventricle, and right ventricle is opening into aorta. This also can be appreciated on color Doppler. I'll show you the color Doppler. Yep, you see, you can see this is the left ventricle opening to the pulmonary artery. You can appreciate the right left pulmonary artery and this is the ductus arteriosus you see this right ventricle right ventricle opening directly into aorta so there is no branching so this is the view of transposition of great vessels on modified parasternal long axis now the parasternal long axis we appreciated just i will rotate this probe 90 degrees same position, second intercostal space on the left side with the marker facing to the left shoulder joint. You appreciate the great vessels on the screen. This is um, transpositioned great vessels view on short axis view. Normally, you see the aorta in the center, as you see, and the pulmonary vessels will be anteriorly placed. But here, if you see, the aorta is placed anteriorly and the pulmonary artery is placed posteriorly and if you see the pulmonary artery how do you identify pulmonary artery you can see the main pulmonary artery and two branches of pulmonary artery here and also very important this view for the appreciation of coronary vessels you can see the right coronary artery and left coronary artery very important um, uh, especially for the cardiac surgeons to appreciate these coronary vessels uh, also, you can appreciate um, the same um, uh, results on the color Doppler. Uh, this is again the aorta and you see the pulmonary artery here and uh, this is the right pulmonary artery and this is the left pulmonary artery and this is your ductus arteriosus. Yeah. Let us see 
the uh, transposition of great drizzle on five chamber view. So you know this is the four chamber view where the probe is placed in the apical space to get the four chamber view. I just tilt it like this up to get five chamber view. And you see on the, the image on the five chamber view here. This is the five chamber view where you can appreciate five chambers. This is your right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle opening into the pulmonary vessel. See left ventricle usually should open into the aorta but here what is happening? Left ventricle is opening to the branch. You can see the branches. This is a branch of the main pulmonary artery to right and left which you can appreciate here also on the color Doppler. See left ventricle is opening to the pulmonary artery and it is in the pulmonary artery the branching and also you can see adjacent the ductus also. So left ventricle main pulmonary artery branching of main pulmonary artery you can appreciate on the five chamber view. Uh, this is a chest x-ray of the same neonate. Um, um, so you as you clearly see uh, you can see the plethoric lung here and in addition to that you appreciate the, the um, there is uh, enlargement of the heart. This enlargement of the heart gives the resemblance of an egg and this is basically because of the right atrium and left atrium enlargement. You see the superior mediastinum is narrow. The reason for superior mediastinum narrowness here because the aorta is placed anteriorly and pulmonary artery is place post because of the translocation that is seen in transposition of great vessels and also the, at the thymus is regressed. The reason for the regression of thymus mostly because of hypoxia and this is sign is called as a agon string. This is a string, this is the egg, this is what you call agon string appearance and it is also um, called as a, the cardio mediastinum sign which is classically seen in transposition of great vessels. So uh, this baby was not improving with um, high dose of uh, IV prostaglandin and the plan was to perform uh, balloon atrial septostomy and this uh, baby um, you know, was shifted to the, the cath lab within uh, 3 hours of time and the balloon atrial septostomy was performed and uh, as you see here this is the, the process is being on the balloon you can see that and how it is pulled you see you can just appreciate that this is yeah see this is the balloon atrial septostomy was performed and the moment the balloon atrial septostomy was performed um, there was uh, there was also as uh, you can see the how uh, the flow starts um, uh, moving from right uh, the between the chambers atrial chambers you can see beautifully the flow started from left to right shunt, left atrium and the flow itself. This is very important because especially when baby has got um, uh, ventricular arterial discordance as you see in transposition of great vessels, the sustenance of life is mainly depending upon uh, the mixing of blood, the pure and impure blood and the moment this um, shunting is um, created between the left uh, atrium and right atrium, the saturation started to improve. If you see the saturation here is 84 and 140, it's very good for this baby. And before the procedure, it was only in 40s. And um, yeah, that saved, this procedure saved. The parents were also counseled. And now the arterial switch procedure is planned. I think in a couple of days time, the surgeon may take up for the surgery. Thank you very much.